Hello everyone, myself Dr. Deepak Garg. I am a senior urologist and head of the department in WellMed Hospitals. Welcome to my live page. Today I will be talking about urology and renal transplant. And before that, let me introduce myself. I am a senior consultant and heading the department at, of urology and renal transplant sciences at WellMed Hospitals, Dehradun. Previously, I was working as senior consultant in Max Hospital, Dehradun. So I have done my post graduation in general surgery and pursued my career further in MCH urology from Ames Cochin. So I am a practicing urologist and a renal transplant surgeon. Bladder cancer, penile cancer, testicular cancer and urologist is a surgeon who is also doing a renal transplant surgery. Renal transplant is a surgery in which we are giving a kidney taken from a donor to a recipient who, whose both kidneys have stopped functioning. So it's a branch in which we doing renal transplant surgeries also. Urology is basically a super specialist branch and it's just like a PhD program. So you have to first do your graduation and post graduation in medicine for opting urology. For graduation, the basic program either in India or abroad is you have to pursue your career in um, medicine, bachelors of medicine and bachelors of surgery, which is also known as MBBS. This is basically a foundation course of uh, five years in India in which you are basically you have to take medicine, practicing allopathic medicine as your subject after your high school. First scale is like let's talk about hand-eye coordination. Hand-eye coordination is basically required for a surgeon in minimal invasive technique. Like if what your eyes is seeing and your hands are being controlled by your mind. Like so what your eyes are seeing and your hands are doing exactly what your brain wants. So that is more important. So if you are good in that skill, your hand-eye coordination is good. You can be a very good minimal invasive surgeon. Since you are serving, since you are serving to the society, your patients are coming with hopes and you are sending them back with joy and happiness. So it's a field which gives you self-satisfaction that you have done really good for someone and you have saved life of someone. Saving life is, I think, the best satisfaction in this world. The first and the biggest challenge is it's a long journey. If you are opting for medicine and you, you have to devote dedicately your 15 to 16 years of life reading, reading and reading. So if you are patient enough, if you, are, if you have patience, you have dedication to your profession, then only you can uh, complete this journey because I have seen lots of students after MBBS just moving out to other professions. Uh, I have a small family, I have two kids. So, as a doctor, I make sure that I give time to my family. I, I try my best to be a good husband, to be a good father. So, uh, I, I try to wake up early at around 6 o'clock in the morning. Go for a walk, short walk, small walk because more of a sedentary lifestyle after 9. So, try to, like, I drop my kids in school and join my office at uh, 9, 9.30. And from 9.30 then I, this uh, professional journey starts. As usual, my patients come, I see them. Normally, I try to uh, pack up by 5, but if there's any emergency, we have to stay back because it's you already discussed it's a 24-hour-7 job. So, going back, I, as a professional and as a human being, I try my best to spend more time with my family because by the end of the day, that that is important for everyone your family is important so you have to devote your time to your family and uh, i try to have some parties occasionally on weekends just to uh, st uh, have my stress level down nothing else so it's a professional journey and it's a good journey and uh, i'm enjoying my life i am not regretting what i have why i have opted for urology and like in today also, I, I enjoy my profession thoroughly and uh, even my profession is paying me for that. I hope I have given you a balanced information about what is urology and what is renal transplant and uh, thanks 